Hello, this is Harry J for Matis Communication. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I can fix OneDrive problem. In my case, I recently installed a new window. This is Windows 10.1, I think the last version. And as you can see, I don't have OneDrive available here in my computer and I use a lot OneDrive. So in this case, you have two fixes. You can go to Microsoft web page and you can download OneDrive from there. But some of the time, if you download from there, still you can't see OneDrive because OneDrive is a software that is built in with Windows. It should appear directly to your Windows. Okay, so let's go for the first fix. I open Google and I'm gonna put OneDrive download here we go directly from the website of Microsoft in the description below I will leave the link so you can go directly so you see here I start OneDrive or click here to download I hit start OneDrive open OneDrive so it doesn't appear if you have OneDrive in your computer it should appear directly it will open the folder as you know so I hit click here to download, I'm downloading as you see. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna hit to open it. Okay, as you see, it doesn't allow me even for install because it said well, I already have OneDrive is installed. Okay, but I can't see the OneDrive. Okay, you see again. Let me move here. Preparing. So I have some problem. Let me show you here. I don't have OneDrive as you see. So we can do something. I minimize all. And I hit the start button and you have to start writing REG. Normally in the past, you should have, in the other windows, you should have searching button here or searching box. In this case, just hit Windows button or hit the searching box and type REG. That is Reg or Registry Editor. You have to find this one, Registry Editor. Hit this one, hit yes. And you have to find these options. For example, here we go. H key local machine. You have to open this one. Then you have to go to software. Here we go. Software. In software, you have to find this option called policy. In policy, you have to find this option called Microsoft. In Microsoft, you have to find this option called Windows. Okay, in Windows, you have to hit this one and you have to find OneDrive. You have to find or you will see these two files, okay, most of the time. So, you have to hit this button, double click, okay. This disable file, synchronize. You have to double click this one. Here, you will see value 1. So, you have to put value 0, value 1, stop. Okay, that means it disable the file synchronize or OneDrive in this case. I erase and I put zero. I put okay in this case. Okay, after hitting okay, I'm going to see if I have my OneDrive here or not. It still doesn't appear OneDrive, so I close this one. This is done. I go to here in OneDrive page. Okay, start OneDrive. I hit open OneDrive. Let's see. Okay, they asked me my email address in this case. And as you can see here, I have OneDrive. It's appeared now. So I have to put my email address. I hit sign in, 
clearly it's gonna ask me the password in this case no and here you can see the OneDrive start working you are all set up to date open folder here we go again I can hit here as you see I have my OneDrive in my computer so this is not so much difficult but if you don't have OneDrive that would be a mess especially if you are working cloud service you have all your data document in OneDrive okay guys if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel if you like this segment please give me a thumbs up as always for more information go to the ask communication www.askcommunication.com have a lovely evening take care till then bye bye